Hey there, everyone. Nice to see you again. Uh, welcome back to the International Challenge edition of Ladder Up, as we're in our second battle now, playing against Tyler with a rating of 1559. Wow, that's exciting. And we've got Full Bird. So this is, I believe, a variation on John Hughes' team. John, John sorry, John Who's team. Who, you ask? John Who, that's who. Uh, the difference being uh, Cresselia and the Ferrothorn. And I believe that it was originally a Lapras and... Kyogre or something else. No, not Kyogre. I don't remember. But I'm not really sure what to do here. I think Rick. Ooh. I'm going to leave with Raichu. Yeah, I'm going to leave with Raichu. And I'm going to leave with. Uh, I'm going to leave with Rayquaza. Or do I want to lead with. Uh, Scizor? Nah. I'm going to leave with. Uh, yeah. Do I want Togetic or do I want. I want, doesn't want Kyogre. Which is, do I want Togetic? Togetic does pretty well here, actually. Yes. I think so, because I think if he... If, there might be a situation where he gets to set up Trick Room and I can't stop it. And if he does that, Togetic can serve me well. Togetic is dual speed control. So I want to try this out. I'm not sure how it's going to work. But again, I'm just testing this team to get practice. So I want to try it out. Because the Togetic has both Tailwind... And also has, and the word I'm looking for is after you, yes. So you can tailwind outside of Trick Room to get in, gain the speed advantage. And then if they're in Trick Room, Totally Tick is stupid slow. So you can after you and then get like off water spouts or whatever you want. So that's what we're going with. Tyler is issuing a challenge and I'm looking, I'm realizing, kind of need a haircut. Kind of need a haircut. All right, so I'm not sure what he's going to do. I think the play here is to fake out the Rayquaza, which he might. He's, he, he's got to be afraid of protecting because Raichu has Encore. Unless this guy is garbage, in which case he, I, who knows what he might do. Who knows? But I kind of want to just bop the Ferrothorn right away. He withdraws into what? Cresselia. Okay. He wants to protect the Kyogre. Uh, I mean, the, the, the Ferrothorn. I'm confused. I'm so... Why not just lead with... What's happening? So he doesn't protect. So if I hit this overheat... I hit the overheat. Goodbye, Ferrothorn. See ya. What did that accomplish? What was, what was the point of that? I don't understand what's happening. I really don't. I don't know what's going on. I thought I was here to play some Pokemon. Rayquaza! Rayquaza! So, I got the speed advantage, bruh. Oh, so Airlock would actually make me doubly weak to Ice Beam again. And I never noticed this before, but like, the wind on the field, it's on the bottom screen too. That's so cool. Look at it. Look at that wind. So here, I think, I want, I kind of want to nuzzle. No, I'm going after the Rayquaza. I want to Dragon Ascent that thing. Faint Dragon Ascent. Let's go. Oh, please. Oh, please protect your Rayquaza. I would love to see you protect your Rayquaza. Please. Whatever you do, don't extreme speed the Raichu. Yes. I want to see how much damage this does. Oh, 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 faint. Take this dragon ascent. Be gone with thee. I really don't know. I don't think it's going to knock out, but who knows? Oh my god, the power. The absolute destructive force that is Mega Rayquaza with a life form. <laughs> I love it. It's so great. What are you going to do? Ice beam me? Do it. Icy win. Okay. That was a decent amount to Rayquaza, actually. God, that was pretty. Oh, that was so... That was so gratifying. Oh, man, that was like a big old slice of chocolate cake. Big old slice of chocolate cake. All right, here, I kind of want to... Um, I want to nuzzle. 
the Cresselia. I'm still faster, aren't I? Actually, I kind of want to just Volt Tackle this Cresselia. I just want to get rid of this thing. He can't, he can't take me on with, with Togekiss. He didn't protect or follow me, so doubling in the Cresselia is, is good, because if I knock it out, which I don't think I will, um, the Volt Tackle will still do a good amount of damage. If he takes that Rayquaza, I get a free switch into Kyogre, which I'm okay with. And a nice, saucy Volt Tackle. The reason I went for a Volt Tackle is I thought he might protect with the... Oh, uh, with the, uh... Togekiss, and that just barely misses out on the KO. I don't know if that was a roll. I don't know, but that... Guys, a Volt Tackle from a Raichu. I mean, it does have the Zap Plate, so to boost that attack, but a Volt Tackle from Raichu in Life Orb... Um... Uh, Dragon Ascent. Almost took out a Cresselia. How dope is that? That's awesome. That is so cool. Alright, so here, um... Raichu's at... Minus two speed. Minus two speed. So... Did he set up a Tailwind? I'm going to bring in Togetic. I'm going to faint the Cresselia, prevent a Trick Room, get my own Tailwind up, and then I'm going to follow me the next turn and Water Spout with Kyogre to win the game. That's my plan. So I'll faint here because I don't know how fast I am, but I'm sure I'll be alright. And I'm going to Tailwind. Boom, 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 boom. Faint doesn't go first? Oh, they're the same priority, but I'm slower. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Then again, it doesn't really matter because he doesn't have any kind of offensive pressure. Really. Yeah, yeah this... I don't know what that guy did at the beginning, but... So it's not the way to do it. So I'm going to nuzzle the Cresselia. If he wants to follow me, okay. And Dazzling Gleam. Why not? I've already won the game. This guy's just stalling for time, honestly, at this point. Because I have Kyogre, and you can't touch Kyogre. All right, cool. Not by me. What's that Cresselia have, like, 5 HP? So a nice saucy Dazzling Gleam here. And, uh, yeah, I can just Volt Tackle, follow me. And that's what I'm going to do. Volt Tackle, follow me. Nothing you can do about it. Not a thing you can do about it. I wonder how much this does. Oh, my God, guys, Raichu is too strong. Raichu is too strong. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure... Okay, guys, think about this. Think about how much a, a sharp beak boosted Brave Bird does off the Talonflame. That's base 120 attack. Volt Tackle. Base 120 attack at 2, I believe. Raichu has a higher base attack than Talonflame. I'm pretty sure. It's base 90. I think Talonflame is like 88 or something like that. So it's stronger. And it's super effective. Raichu is a monster. And I'm so happy to be using it. It's my channel mascot. And I've wanted to use it for a while, and I didn't have a good opportunity, and now I do, and I'm so excited. Yes, all right, that was good. That was so good. The faint worked out. The the toga the, the toga tick worked out. Uh, oh my God, did Rayquaza put in the work? Rayquaza and Raichu are beastly. And let this be a lesson, okay? That you do not have to run the standard six, stupid, uh, Smeargle, Town Flame. And your stupid uh, Xerneas, and your dumb uh, Cresselia, and your fat Groudon, and your Kangaskhan, or your Salamence, or whatever your Mega of choice is. You don't have to run that. You can you can run other stuff, and just play with a, with a decent mind, and you'll do okay. So we're gonna try and keep doing that because I think this team can do it. This team has seen success before, not for me, but it has won a regional. So we are going to try and do the same. Well, not win a region. This is the international challenge, but yeah, I'm 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 waffling on right now. So that's it for ladder up. If you like it, feel free to hit that like button and comment, or or uh, maybe share the video or subscribe, because you know it makes me feel good and it helps grow the channel. So uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you next time for another episode of ladder up.